Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Dmitry. This is Roofing Insights and today finally we are ready to put asphalt shingles to the test and answer the main question who made the best asphalt shingle in 2017? We did this video about a year and a half ago, we already have done comparison tests, we have some data from the past, and this year we wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, we want to be honest, we want to challenge every claim out there, and we just want to find out from consumer and contractor standpoint who makes the best product for us and for the housing right now. So there's three reasons, guys, why we believe that weight should be considered when you compare your shingles. Number one, there's a few manufacturers out there that makes huge claims that their product is better because they're heavier. Number two, guys, we believe that common sense out there, out there in the home building material market also makes sense because people don't like when manufacturers are cheating. You have two by four, that actually three and a half. You have one by four trim, that's three and a quarter. So there's been uh, quite a few lawsuits out there that people, you know, consumers getting pissed, their materials getting shorter, they don't get what the price sticker says. And point number three, guys, why we think it's important, because uh, manufacturers, some manufacturers are doing a pretty poor job making their bundles even. For example, uh, you remember we've done a um, fittest roofer test and we actually had a really hard time to find consistency in a product. Like we would take bundle of shingle that's supposed to be 72 and when we weighted it, it was as low as a 62 pounds. If I'm paying full price per one bundle, I expect it to be the same weight as the rest of them. So if you tell me three makes one square and I take three, it should take one square. As a matter of fact, for this test, for that um, reason alone, we're not gonna even have three bundles. We're gonna take one and multiply it by three. If anybody comes back to us and say it's not fair, I'm gonna tell them you go back to your this designer room or engineer room and you make them even because you're selling to me each and single one of them at the same price. Today we have Pepco Premier Shingle uh, by Pepco Roofing. Uh, we have Malarkey Vista also just got introduced to us in 2016. Uh, both of these products, Pepco and Vista, have four bundles per square. So bundle looks a little bit lighter, but it's actually four per square. Next one is Canadian Friend IKO Cambridge. It's funny they say here three bundles equals true square because roofers know a lot of roofing materials claim to be one square and uh, in reality, it's actually a little bit shorter, so you have to buy a little bit more materials. So, second one going to be a certain kid um, landmark. Historically, have been always the heaviest. We'll see how it's going to stack up today. Um, second one going to be Tamco Heritage and uh, OC Duration. And the last one is um, Atlas Pinnacle. So, let's put them on the scale. All have just by waiting all these seven different products we already have quite a few surprises now the reason again why I do what I do because I want to see I want to report to you what these manufacturers are claiming and what's actually happening now none of this are fail today so you can be the lightest and perform the best you can be the heaviest and perform the worst this is just overall performance and you have to look at the weight so OC number seven with the only 188 pounds. And I get it, you can say that it's not accurate, but for what I've paid today, that's the results. Tamco came number six with the 220 pounds. So Tamco is supposed to be 260 and they're 220. Malarkey, 224 because there is a four in the bundle and Malarkey was 56 pounds each equals 24. Number four, 
was IKO. IKO came with a 228 pounds and a half, 230. They came really close to their paperweight. So they're supposed to be 230, they came 228.6. That's what we wanna see. Number three, certainty. Usually the heaviest, today they were not the heaviest. Certainty today was 233.1. So here's the interesting fact. When we call Serdentid, we also have been very impressed. They told us their shingle should be anywhere between 229 and 240, and they were 233 and, uh, and one. So really good accuracy from manufacturer. So that tells us that manufacturer actually controls their process. They know what goes into the shingle. They know how much weight it should be per their specs, and they, they usually get it at the end. So number two, one of the biggest surprises here today, Atlas, 239.1 pounds. So new Atlas shingle right here, Pinnacle. It is bigger, it is wider, it's true square. Uh, we already installed it um, to prove that it's exactly one square. I'll show it in the video later. But again, second heaviest shingle on our test, 239.1. And number one, four bundles per square came Pepco. So Pepco came in as a 244.4. Uh, they weighed 61.1 times four. So that's it for today. Pepco number one, OC number seven, everybody else in between. Um, again, it doesn't prove anything. It's not the test that you want to say, yeah, this is the worst, this is the best. If you have any ideas, if you want to tell us, what you want us to see, comment below. We're asking you to participate, be part of it. Let us know if you don't see your product here, contact your manufacturer. If you are a manufacturer, if you wanna be here, it's not too late to jump on this train. We would love to review as many products as we possibly can. My name is Dimitri and I will see you on the next test. Thanks for coming guys.